Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today is a NES game that's probably long overdue. It is a classic Kung Fu. Uh, a game that's actually based on Kung Fu Master, the arcade game, uh, originally created by IREM. Uh, this version was actually made by Nintendo. It was one of the earlier NES releases in North America. It was one of those black box releases. And it was one of those games that I think a lot of kids played that grew up with the NES, especially early on in its life. Uh, it's one that I had a ton of friends that played. Uh, and I even played it a little bit back in the day. Uh, I actually didn't put a lot of time into it until the early 90s, though. Although I did play it a few times in the mid to late 80s uh, as other people got their hands on it. Really fun game. Not a terribly long game, but it is challenging, and uh, we'll we'll see what we can do here. I'm actually not that well practiced at this game, and um, I, I played it on stream yesterday on Twitch, and, you know, I got fairly consistent of being able to get through it, so hopefully we can at least get through the first loop of the game. Uh, the game does repeat after you finish it once, and it gets harder, and then I think it might even get harder again a third time, um... On your third loop, sorry. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna do one player game A. One player game B, I think is probably, I wanna say it's probably the third loop of the game. Um, because I've beaten the game, I've played it, and then I've played game B, and game B actually seems harder than the second loop of the game. Enemies come out even faster than they do in the second loop. And uh, all right, so jumping right into it. Uh, Kung Fu is just a side-scrolling brawler, very early, um, uh, game in this genre. Uh, there's been quite a few other games in this genre. Uh, Irem eventually followed it up with, uh, Vigilante, which was an arcade game. That got many home conversions as well. Um, there were some other games like, uh, the Fist of the North Star game for the, uh, the Sega Mark III, uh, which is brought over as Black Belt for the Master System. Uh, so there's good, quite a few games in this uh, this little genre of beat-em-ups. So what you can do here in Kung Fu is uh, you move left or right. Uh, you can duck and you can punch and kick while you're ducking. Uh, you can also jump by pressing up and you can jump kick. Uh, if you jump kick at the right time, not the right time, but if you jump kick on a certain enemy, you can occasionally get point bonuses. Like right there, I just got 5,000 points. Uh, there's a certain rhythm or rhyme to that. I'm not sure exactly how it works. Uh, you can also combo enemies. If enemies are, are grouped up together uh, very closely, you get uh, combos. Uh, so say I kill one of those purple guys, it'll be 200 points with my fist. But if I hit a second one with the same attack, it goes uh, 200, 400, and then I think it goes 800 after that. Uh, so if you're trying to play for score, it's good to try to uh, combo some enemies if you can. Uh, your kicks and your punches do vary in score value, so if you're playing for score, it's something to keep in mind. I use my uh, my fists for the majority of the game. Uh, the kick will probably be easier for some people, but you get less points for it. Uh, the jump kick is actually kind of hard to pull off. The timing is really weird on it, but the jump kick will award you more points than your standard uh, punch or kick will. So we're on level two. Uh, level two features a lot of falling objects from the ceiling. Uh, those uh, striped ones will you know, spawn these dragons. The, the, the full green ones will spawn these snakes. The, uh, the orangish ones will just float in the air and then they'll explode as a three-way shot. So you wanna try to jump kick those before they do that. Uh, so like I said, Kung Fu is not a horribly complex game. Um, now they introduce these little midget guys. They uh, will basically just hold on to you. In later levels, they'll actually jump at you as well. They'll try to land on your head. So you've got this uh, boomerang guy. It's actually kind of similar to the uh, the boomerang guys in Zelda 2. and even makes the same boomerang sound. And so every floor, as you can see, has a boss to it. Uh, each boss has his own types of patterns and whatnot. Uh, I find the third and fourth level bosses to be the hardest. And something I actually haven't mentioned yet is this movie is actually, uh, I believe, based on a, uh, was it a Jackie Chan movie? I believe it was, it was called Spartan X in Japan. Um, 
and uh, it was based on the movie of the same name. I can't remember if it was Jackie Chan or not. I've never seen it. Um, I'm not actually huge in the martial arts films. Um, I probably should be. I, I've liked all the ones I've seen, but uh, it's not a genre uh, of film I'm horribly familiar with. Uh, but I believe it's uh, it's based on the movie of the same name. In North America, it just came out as Kung Fu, um, the game. Um, not based on a movie for North America. Uh, but in Japan, it is. So here we got this big black dude. He is kind of a pain. He does this kick attack. And what you want to do is just... I found the easiest way to kill him uh, being to duck and punch him. As long as he doesn't kick. If he kicks while you're ducking and trying to punch him, he'll just knock you out. Uh, the bosses in this game do really crazy damage, and that guy especially, there's times where it seems like he can just kill you in one hit. So, on to level 4. And level 4 has kind of this weird boss. He throws these fireballs at you that are really inconsistent. You've also got these... Uh, uh, fine, flying insects. Are they butterflies or moths? Not sure exactly what they are. And uh, something else I haven't mentioned is you do actually get an extra life in the game through points. And uh, it's 50,000 points. Oh wow, I killed him. Okay. Let's just get past these guys. Once you get to the edge of the screen, all the enemies just disappear and you're guaranteed to go up the stairs. Uh, but after you kill the boss, you do have to watch out uh, for like the knife guys. The knife guys can still snipe you from across the screen. Uh, the little midgets can still jump on you. Uh, so just because you've destroyed the boss doesn't mean you're, you're completely safe yet. Enemies will constantly spawn out. Uh, if you wanted to, you can try to point press after you've beaten the boss. Just sit in place like this and just hit enemy after enemy after enemy. Uh, however, if you're playing for score, I've actually found that uh, it's better to not point press uh, because your your timer gives you points after you beat a level. And uh, the timer points are actually worth a lot. It's not like Donkey Kong 3 where like every second is only 100 points or something like that. Uh, it's, it's a lot more points than that. And so you can get a good, I think you can get upwards of close to 10,000 points in bonus um, by having a lot of time on the clock once you beat a level. Now granted, you can get lots of points for comboing enemies, you can get the occasional 5,000 bonus on the purple guys. The knife guys are a bit of a pain. Alright, so this is going to be our final boss. And it's actually kind of funny, you can just like, sort of stare him in the face, and then be like, um... No, I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> and just like, walk off. Be like, hello, how are you doing? Hello. Yeah, I've actually found that jump kicking him seems to work the best for me. Just like that. So the first time I got to him, I actually did exactly just that. He just sat there, and I was like, um, hmm, okay. And I jump kicked him twice, and he died. <laughs> but yeah, um, so now, yeah, uh, we've beaten the game. We're on the second loop now, and uh, this is where the game gets harder. Enemies get faster. Uh, the knife guys, especially, their daggers go much faster across the screen. And as you can see, these enemies will actually hold you, and they, they do some damage pretty quickly. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I wasn't able to beat this second loop. I, I tried it multiple times on Twitch. But we'll see what happens here. Unfortunately, there's no way to get a second extra life, as far as I'm aware. You get the first extra life at 50,000 points, and then after that, that's that's pretty much it. No more extra lives, unfortunately. It would be nice if you could get more extra lives. That would kind of, like, keep you going on the, uh, the higher loops in the game, where the game gets harder and harder. 
but uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. Uh, somebody in my Twitch chat uh, gave me a couple of uh, tips in this game. They said you only get one extra life, and then they also uh, let me know about the um, the 5,000 point bonus on uh, certain enemies when you jump kick them. Oops, ooh. I didn't mean to jump into that thing. There's a, a little glitch. I don't want to say glitch in the game, but the, the jumping mechanic can be a little wonky. You could stop holding right and then press up to just jump straight up like I was trying. But the game will still register it as an up forward jump. So you'll you'll constantly still move forward while jumping. Uh, and in that case, you might end up slamming into an enemy you don't actually mean to slam into. Oh, see... That's rough. That dagger guy. Uh, if you see the dagger guys come on screen and you're pretty much next to a boss, I highly recommend taking out the dagger guys because they're going to make the bosses a lot harder than, than they need to be. So basically what happened there is I actually beat the boss, um, but then I jumped into the guy's dagger on the way back down after trying to jump kick the boss, unfortunately. So... Oh, and it kind of happened again. And I think that's like normal for the second loop. It seems like it's normal for the knife guy to, to come out in the second loop. On the first loop, it can happen, but it doesn't usually happen. So we've only got one life left. I need to play it safe. So you can see where like these snakes are coming down a lot faster now more frequently. Not necessarily faster, but it's just the rate of them coming down is quicker. Oh, come on! The knife guy just came out of nowhere. Alright, last chance. That sucks, because this boss really isn't that challenging. You just jump over his boomerangs, that's it. But, you know, after you beat the game once, uh, they just, their attacks become a little more aggressive. Uh, they become harder to deal with, basically. Just gonna run away from this guy. Alright, so that was tough. We we got there without dying, and then we lost three lives in a row. <laughs> but you know, the, the great thing about this game is that it's it's not a long game, so like even if you get towards the end of the second loop, you've only spent like 10 minutes of your time, and then you could just do it again. Or, uh, if you want to try, you can actually just start on, uh, game B, which starts you at a def- uh, a higher difficulty level by default. Close to the boss. Yeah, these guys are just relentless, they just don't stop. Got him. Yeah, so very challenging game actually on the second loop and up. I'd, I'd really like to be able to beat the second loop just to see what the third loop is like. I have a feeling I won't last very long on it, but I have yet to beat the second loop. Uh, granted, I haven't tried that hard. Uh, I basically played this on Twitch yesterday for like an hour. Um, I figured that like, the, the first five levels would be pretty easy to get through. You know, it wouldn't take me that long to practice because I did beat this game back in the day. I did um, finish the first loop 
to me, that's that's beating the game. I don't know if there's an actual ultimate ending or anything like that if you get through, you know, multiple loops in the game. If anybody knows, feel free to post a comment below. Yeah, so this guy is a major pain on the second loop. He, he throws his fireballs at a faster rate. And uh, I actually haven't gotten past him yet on the second loop. So that's as far as I've gotten. Um, so here's the, uh, the one player game B. And there is a two player option, but I believe it's just alternating. So it's not two players at the same time. You gotta be careful about jump kicking in this game, because you can do exactly what I'm doing and jump kick a guy, but then just land right into another guy, and they just grab you and take away a lot of your health. Yeah, so this first boss, I also, I find it easiest to just get down, do a ducking kick, hit him like two or three times if you can, and then just just wait, he'll just sort of like back up and attack and then miss, and then you just get in closer and just rinse and repeat, do another ducking kick two or three times. You do that three times or so, or three cycles or so, and he'll die. Yeah, the rate of enemy drops here is, is faster than it was before. Nice, got the 5,000 bonus. Alright, good, got it. We didn't die that time. Yeah, so if anybody out there is watching and you know the exact differences between game A and game B, uh, feel free to post a comment below and, and let me know. I could have like looked at a manual before doing this Let's Play, but I was just like, eh, nah. Uh, but when I did play game B for the first time yesterday, I, I did notice that the game was a little bit quicker um, as if I was doing like one of the subsequent loops after after beating the game the first time. Yeah, these knife guys are the worst. It's not so much that they're bad on their own, it's like, if you're ganged up on enemies and then a knife guy comes out, you know, you've got to deal with all the other enemies along with the knives he throws. And that's, that's the challenging part. And I'd love to just jump kick these guys, because with jump kicking you can continue to move as, uh, after you've attacked the enemy. You can sort of like, just cut through them and just keep going but it's really hard to do it when these guys get close to you. Yep, had a feeling he was just gonna kick me like that. <laughs> yeah, and the timing on the jump kicking is really weird. Like, you've gotta give yourself some good distance to jump kick these guys. It seems like the hitbox of your, your kick is really large, too. Oh, see? Oh, I was just trying to jump straight up, but the game registered it as a forward jump. Even though I, I took my hand off the D-pad and just pressed up. So the inputs on this can be a little awkward at times as well. Unfortunately, you cannot jump over the midgets.
Got him. Yeah, so uh, the third boss, I found really no rhythm or rhyme to him. Uh, he'll punch, he'll kick, he'll kick some more, he'll punch, he'll kick, he'll punch. Like, the, the pattern to his attacks are, just seem to be completely random. Uh, you're really at the mercy of the, the RNG. I mean, I've had times where all he's done is just punch over and over again, but then times where he's only kicked over and over again. And, um... So it's really hard to actually control that boss fight. Um, so when I first was trying to beat this game, the third boss was actually giving me the most trouble. Because there was, there was again, there was just no rhythm or rhyme to his attack patterns. But it's the kind of boss where you just got to get in, do your thing, and hope that he, you know, <laughs> the rock, paper, scissors match f is in favor of you. Because that's basically what it is. It's like you can get down, duck and punch him, and just, uh, you know, avoid his punch attacks and just do a lot of damage that way. Or you could duck and punch him and he will um, kick you in the face and you'll die pretty much instantly. So, ah, oh, it's game over. Okay, well that's gonna that's gonna wrap up the let's play, guys. This actually went a little bit longer than expected. I wasn't doing, I uh, wasn't planning on doing game B, but uh, I was just gonna demonstrate it to show you. But then I was like, ah, oh, we'll just keep going. So that's Kung Fu. Yeah, I know. Probably not the most exciting let's play. Um, I actually just got off work, uh, and so I, I come off like a, a ten hour shift at work, and so I'm pretty tired right now. It's about eight o'clock in the morning as of uh, recording this video, but. Uh, yeah, it's fun to knock this one off the list. Uh, I had fun playing it on Twitch yesterday, and um, you know, there's a little little bit of depth to the game. It's not a super deep game, but there are some little nifty uh, things like uh, getting enemy combos for you know bonus uh, bonus multipliers on your 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 attack points, and then getting like the random five thousand bonus for uh, these purple guys that you kill by jump kicking them. So they're, if you're trying to play for score, there's a few different ways to try to build your score faster than say someone that just kicks every single enemy. The kick is the safer way to play the game. It seems uh, it's got more reach, uh, and I think that's how most people play this game. They just use the kick over and over. But punching gives you more points, and so does jump kicking, and then comboing enemies and stuff like that. And I like it when these old games have uh, little intricacies to the the scoring, and, and Kung Fu has that. It's a fun game. It's a classic NES game. Uh, it's not one I've gone back to repeatedly over the years. I, it's really I haven't played it much since the the 1990s, to be honest with you. Uh, I think I did stream it on Twitch once last year, and I, I didn't even beat the first loop. And so, aside from that, I haven't really played this game since the 90s, most likely. And uh, But it's still fun. I think it's a, definitely a classic NES game. And uh, it's it's one that people remember quite fondly uh, back in the day. You know, not on that same level as, like, you know, your Mega Man 2s and stuff like that. But it's kind of like, uh, I kind of lump it with, like, Excite Bike. It's a game I played a lot as a kid. Um but um, not as much as an adult. And, uh, but yeah, cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, I'm not really sure what else I've got on the plates, uh, but I'll be back with some more uh, Let's Play sometime soon. Um, and uh, until then, uh, take care, guys.